All right, guys, welcome back to Budget Card Breaks. And today, uh, I was out and about, and uh, I picked up this. Last time I picked up a Contenders box. I do like these because it comes with a auto or memorabilia card. Last time I got a memorabilia card duel of Gideon Suggs, but um, of course it wasn't game used, so it's basically like just kind of worthless patches. But I mean. Still kind of cool, I guess, for retail. I mean, what can you really expect from retail? I feel like some people expect a little too much out of these. But let's see what we get. It says one insert card or one non-base card per pack on average. Let's see if we can get something out of 10, huh? <laughs> That'd be nice. Alright. Oh, well, there's a lot of cards in here. Oh, first one. Here we go. Jersey. Jared Butler, so that's the hit, that's bad, look, nothing there, I bet it's not game used, it's enclosed, not associated with any game or event, so swatch on first, that was uneventful, but let's see, okay, so, I like how they kind of took time to try to make these all, um, international ticket, they kind of took their time to make the, these all match. That's cool. Jersey match. John Morant. One of my favorites for sure. But we're out of his rookie season. So, first pack done. Probably be... Whoa, we got a sideways card. Whoa. I'm kind of excited, but it'll probably be some stupid insert, knowing my luck. Yeah. See? <laughs> I was all excited. Donovan Mitchell, right? Game night ticket. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Rudy Gobert. DeAndre Ayton. Eric Bledsoe. So something that they didn't do last year, I don't think, is Seth Curry, Carl Anthony Towns, and... See, it's weird how they just have so many different kinds, like... Same card, but... This one's red, and this one's regular, so. Red and regular, and the rookie. Put our hits over there, I guess. International ticket. Can't really call these hits, to be honest with you, but I have fun opening these, you know. It's nice to do it every once in now and again. All right, Anthony Davis. Damian Lillard, Colin Sexton, Jason Tatum, John Wall, Michael Porter Jr. All right. And Josh Primo, rookie card. And Michael Porter Jr., uh, people that know me, it's like family. Well, my mom's friend, their family is, like, no, is related to Michael Porter Jr. So I kind of collect him because I'm hoping one day that he'll sign a bunch of my cards that I have of him. Not like particularly a fan of him because I don't watch the Utah Jazz, but I was kind of watching some highlights of the Jazz game the other night, and he looked pretty nice. So I will say that. All right, Kevin Durant, Donovan Mitchell, Sadiq Bey, Demar Derozan, John Collins, Bradley Beal, Tim Hardaway Jr., and a Canada of R.J. Barrett. All right, last pack. Franz Wagner. All right. Shai Gilgis Alexander. Bam Adebayo. Keldon Johnson. Stephen Curry. Jokic. Terry Rozier. Chris Middleton and Franz Wagner. So many rookies, man, that aren't rookies anymore, right? So, we got the Franz International Ticket. Is this bronze, I guess? Here's a patch, napkin patch, not game-worn, of... Jared Butler. Good job, Morant. 
those colors. All right. Kind of what I was expecting, to be honest, out of this opening. I mean, you get what you pay for, guys. <laughs> I can't really complain, to be honest. I've opened worse boxes. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is the highlight. Obviously, this card is like something you'd find in a dollar bin. All of these are. I mean, yeah, I paid $28. I mean, best case scenario. You could sell or resell this for like five dollars and that would be if you got like two dollars for this and then like for some magic reason you could sell all these for like three bucks which i don't even know if you could probably this is probably like three dollars worth of cards <laughs> all right i'm gonna stop talking mess guys that was contenders for the second time second patch i don't think any of these are game worn but, I mean, it's retail, so, I guess. Kind of weird, uh, when I very first started collecting, uh, when I was a kid, everything was game-worn, man. And, I honestly, I would go for patches, like, over autographs as a kid. I really liked the patches. Like, I remember on eBay, I would, I would search up, like, five-color patches, six-color patches, because I just thought, like, the more colors, the cooler, you know? And um, they were all game-worn back then, but now it's, like, it has to be flawless for, like, a... T like a $10,000 box for it to be like, you know, I mean, not even all national treasures are game worn. Pretty insane. But enough about that. Oh, so hopefully have some mail coming in next week. I ordered a rookie auto of Kyrie Irving. That's all I really have. I'm going to kind of slow down because Basketball cards are getting hyped up again, and um, basketball is really my favorite thing to collect, so I just feel like the prices right now, just let a little of the hype die down, and or go towards cards that don't have the hype, but I have noticed a little spikage just of interest, you know, because it is the beginning of the season. It seemed like just yesterday was off season, like literally, like two, three months, it's over with, like no collecting time, but um, anyways, I'll close out. Let me know what you guys think. Have a nice day.